So we got chickens. Yes, we go from we go from a movie about ants, and we also go from a movie about penguins and uh, and apparently animals in the wilderness like bears and stuff, and like. And now we go to a movie about chickens. You got you guys know I don't think I ever told you guys this, but I actually had some chickens when I was little. I didn't live on a farm, but I actually um I actually did have some I did have some pet chickens. One of them was named uh, Mick I mean Mick Fly and one was named Dora. Not to be confused by Dora Explorer, of course. Um but, um, yeah, I had some chickens, like, some pet chickens in the past. Unfortunately, sadly, they got eaten by wild animals, which is sad. But, anywho, um, we've been, I've been actually reviewing quite a bit of animal-themed movies lately. And, uh, I think so far the only movie that I, I, that I have actually reviewed that's not been an animal-themed movie is, uh, The, the, the King of Egypt. Which I want to say, I'm sorry for people who watched that review. I hope I didn't de 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 defend anybody or make pe people mad. Uh, I was trying to make it not as cringe as it sounded. Uh, basically, I was just saying the villain wasn't very good in the movie because I, uh, you know, um, I didn't feel like they 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 built the well they well they they kind of built the story up pretty well, but they kind of made the villain kind of didn't feel like a villain. You know, it felt like he it was more so. You know, making him believe in certain stuff rather than making him, like, do it just because, you know. Because usually when it comes to movies, you know, like, they got a villain who just does stuff because he, he because he's a, a bad guy, you know, he doesn't care, you know. But I don't know, maybe, maybe, like I said, I might be wrong with that. But I just wanted to clarify that I don't mind people having religion, you know, and all that. People can have their opinion, but I was just saying I didn't care for, I mean, I didn't like that movie as much as probably other people because I didn't like how they treated the the villain in the movie, but it's still it's still an all right movie. I just wanted to bring that up because I said I was going to bring that up if I can remember in the Sony movie that I did last time. Um, but yeah, um, but anywho, anywho, now that I got that out of the way, remember guys to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out a lot. It really would. I'm at 277 subs. My sub count keeps, like, bouncing all over the place. Like, it's, it's gone from, like, 78, 77, and 76, and then, that, and then it went back to 78, and then now it's, like, back to 77. I'm not sure what's going on with the sub count on my channel, but I don't know. I mean, with, like, you know, bots and stuff we got now on, in technology, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, it doesn't really surprise me anymore, but, um, yeah. But anywho, um... I didn't think I was actually going to be doing this movie, because I was not feeling good, like, all week. I was even surprised to actually get the review for Sony out of the way. That's why I didn't get it out on that, like, last week either, because, um, I wasn't feeling good last week, and I was just feeling tired. I haven't figured out exactly why I'm feeling tired, but, like, I didn't have any energy at all. Like, I could not do anything. So, um, yeah, but I'm here now to review this movie, um, so, yeah, um, I also gotta tell you guys, too, I forgot to bring this up in my last DreamWorks movie, but I don't have Road to Eldor, that's why this says 4, not 3 out of 47, because technically Road to Eldor came out before this, but I don't have the DVD right now, I'm waiting for it to get ordered, it should be here by the end of the month, so I should be able to review it, but that's why it's getting out of order, I try to review this stuff in order if I can. Now this won't, this trend won't stay forever. Um, I'm gonna be doing this until the, until the Disney movies and once I review the, the, the uh, 60 or how many, however, how many, you know, Disney movies there are. I'm like the main ones, not the sequels, but the main ones. I'm gonna be going right back to pro, well, I'm probably gonna just be reviewing just random movies, but yeah, um, but yeah, um, but yeah, I, I gotta say, though, I'll probably at least keep this theme, because I like this theme, you know, I, I think... See, this is what I have here, I have this theme here, um... I didn't bring this up yet, but I was trying to make make the um, coloring darker, because I... 
messed it up, but because I apparently uh, this is a saved image, I can't do that. So, because I, well, I can, but I don't want to color accidentally color over the uh, the sheep and stuff for the effect. So, it won't be darker, but I'm trying to get it to match the, the first DreamWorks movie I reviewed, which is Ants, but... I'm still figuring that out, but anywho, now that I got all this out of the way, let's go ahead and review this movie called Chicken Run. Yeah, I, I know I'm kind of, it's kind of a mouthful, I know I've been talking a lot, but I, I have a lot going on and all that, so yeah, but I'm here now to review this movie, so let's go ahead and review this. So Chicken Run. Chicken Run is a, a movie that came out a long time ago. It came out back in 2000. A long time ago. And um, this movie, actually, interesting fact, that this movie is the very first CG, like not, well, not CGI, but like clay animation uh, movie that DreamWorks has made. DreamWorks will make more of these down the road, but this is like the first one they made. Um, they actually made they made one like this um, coming down the road called Flush Away, but that movie is um, not actually clay animation. That one's actually CGI'd, but it has clay animation effects in it. So I'm not sure why they just didn't use clay animation. I guess because maybe it's expensive. Because clay animation can be expensive and hard to do. Um, but yeah, I gotta say, um, clay animation is not not bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, I think Robot Chicken used it. Um, I'm not sure if they still use it. I'm not sure if they go, they've gone to CGI because a lot of people will not CGI by computers. Um, but I know back then they used they used like clay animation because before CGI there was even clay animation and stuff they used um, for for stuff you know. But they used it a lot in a, a Christmas specials and stuff. It's pretty cool. It really is, and. Uh, I'm glad, I kind of like the clay animation, you know, um, it's pretty nice, it is, it's something different, you know, we don't see too much, but it's pretty nice to see, you know, it's kind of like, you know, like 2D animation, it's kind of hard to come across now, um, well even back then people didn't use clay animation probably too much because it was so hard to do, but, but yeah, it's pretty nice, but yeah, um, so yeah, I was going to talk about this, like this film, because this film I have actually never seen before. I've never seen this film. I've seen, um, let's see, I've seen, have I seen, well I've seen Flush Away, I've seen that one, but that's been years since I've seen that movie, um, but, but it's like, but that one technically isn't a clay, like a full clay, clay animation, it's actually CGI, like they actually use CGI, they didn't use, I don't think they just use computers, I think they use CGI. Someone can let me know in the comments on that one, but... This is actually a full-fledged CG, I mean, clay animation film. And it does hold up pretty well. I do like it. However, what I don't like, though, really, is I don't think the faces are there. I feel like they're kind of, they're kind of creepy. I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one here, but I think the, like, I'm watching the film, and I just don't know, they just look creepy. Like, the, like the eyes don't really move too much. They, like, they don't blink. They, like, they just look kind of creepy. I get, I get that, you know, clay animation is expensive and hard, you know, it's hard to do, but I don't I just feel like the, not, the characters not blinking that much kind of looks creepy, and then, like, the way their mouths move, it just looks creepy. It's something that, like, Robot Chicken, I think, did a bit better with, and, like, other clay animation, you know, stuff in the past. I mean, this is, this is kind of a, a thing that's gonna be, because even the movie down the road, which I also haven't seen, which is... Rawls and Grimmis or whatever it's called in the, the Were Rabbit movie I have not seen either. That one also um has the same, you know, effects and the mouths just look I don't they just look weird and off. I don't know. I'm not trying to criticize the artist, you know, the artist is doing the best, you know, he's doing the best, but I just think it looks weird to, in my opinion. Like it may, like when their mouths move and all that just look weird. But it doesn't look awful. It doesn't look awful, but um, it just looks kind of you know weird. But now I've got the animation out of the way, which does look it looks good. It doesn't look great. Like I said, the mouths and stuff look weird. But what I want to talk about is mainly the story. What is the story about? What is this movie about exactly? Well, it's called Chicken Run for a reason, actually. Um, in this movie, the, the chickens are trying to escape because um. 
they're trying to escape because they're gonna get eaten by, um, these two villains. They're gonna get eaten by them, and, uh, they're trying to, they're trying to, you know, escape from, you know, on um, that, that, from, you know, um, you know, the guys, because, you know, they don't want to be eaten. It kind of reminds me of a movie I saw a long time ago. I can't remember if I finished it, um, but basically these, like, these, instead of chickens, it's like, um, turkeys, and they're trying to go back and stop Thanksgiving from happening, like, like, I don't remember the movie very well, but I, I think I might have seen the, the whole movie, I can't remember, but they do a, a similar plot, they're trying to, you know, come up with a scheme or something to kind of, like, stop them from getting eaten, it's pretty interesting, um, it's pretty interesting, um, but I kind of like the concept a lot, they're trying to find different ways to escape and all that, um, my biggest problem with this movie, though, I feel like it plays, I don't it feels kind of a little too safe. Like, it feels a little too safe. I don't, I can't really figure out why. I mean, it feels like a normal movie, you know, we got the characters and all that, um. You know, we got, we got the Grandpa Chicken, which, by the way, he's kind of funny. I kind of like him, yeah. And we do got, you know, the, the rooster guy and all that. But, I don't know, it just feels like it plays it a little too safe. Like, I don't know. I'm not really sure why, I just, I don't, it just feels like it just, it doesn't feel like I'm getting much out of watching this, like, maybe it's just because they have just, like, one goal, and the only, the only, like, the only thing that mo this movie really is, it's like, it's basically them trying to escape from the, you know, the, um, the, it's basically them trying to escape from the, uh, you know, the bad guys, you know, the, the guys that are trying to eat them, that's all it really is, um, are trying to escape from, you know, these bad guys and all that, and I just, I don't know, it just feels like it plays a little too safe. But, I don't know, it's like, it's still good, it's a simple plot, but it's still very good. I just wish there was a little bit more to it, I don't know, I mean, I thought the, the, there's not really much character, like, there's characters in the movie, there's like the chickens and stuff, and the rats, and there's rats in this movie, they're like, I guess they, like, they, 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 they're, like, asking for, like, eggs and stuff, because they want eggs. So they can, they can use things from them, so, like, they're, like, bargains or something, I don't know. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know, it's just kind of strange that there's, like, like, rats and stuff in the movie, but, um, yeah, there's, like, two rat guys that are, like, wanting eggs and stuff, and that's, like, you just have to trade so they can, they can, you know, get, get out of there or something, I don't know, but... I think I feel like a lot of the chickens though are kind are kind of just um a lot of the chickens are kind of just there they're kind of in the background like I feel like they don't really add much to the movie I don't really know it's also kind of funny the way they look I'm not gonna lie I I thought I thought they were just they, that was the way they were draw, like made because you know chickens are you know because the you know, chickens are all poofy and puffy and they they, they all puff, they're all puffy looking you know. I thought that's the way they animated, but no, apparently they're actually fat. They apparently the the bad guys are fattening them up, so they can so they can eat them or something. I don't know. Um, they could have just made it like that too, because I'm um, you know because that's the way they animated them, and they probably just went with that. I'm not sure if they were planning on that or if that was just the way they decided to go because you know the way they're animated. But uh, it's just kind of strange. But. But yeah, um, basically, yeah, they're just kind of, it's kind of weird how they're just all, they, the way they look and stuff, but, I don't know, but, I mean, I don't know, the movie's just kind of strange, so, like, it, it literally takes place in, like, one location throughout the entire movie, pretty much, like, there's, like, one scene where, like, this rooster guy, which I forgot his name is, like, he, he's, like, walking off or something, and, like, like, he ditches the, the uh, chickens and stuff, like, to walk off, and we see, like, one scene where he's walking off in a different location, but pretty much it's, it's in the same location. It's basically by these people's houses, like, it's just weird, like, the movie just takes place in, like, this one location. Yeah, we do see the house, like, inside their, like, these bad guys' house, but it doesn't take place really anywhere outside there. And I'm wondering because it, it's, because, you know, it's, it cost a lot of money, it probably didn't want to make more than one location, which I can understand that, but it would have been kind of nice to see some more locations, I don't know. I mean, we just see them kind of building up, you know, a plane and flying, which is pretty interesting, but I don't know. But, um, I don't know, it's just kind of strange. 
Um, also, I didn't bring up that the rooster guy, apparently he's not, they don't trust, like, Jinder doesn't trust him or something and all that, and like, he doesn't, like, he's running away from the circus or something because, uh, you know, well, actually, I don't know why he's running away from the circus. He basically, apparently works at the circus and, like, he wants to be hot, like, hid, but then they never bring up, they never bring it up, like, why he, um, why he ran away from the circus. They never bring that up. He never brought up why he, like, and then he just comes back and all that, and he just joins them. I'm like, they don't really bring up why he ran away from the circus. And he acts like he's afraid to fly, but they never bring that up either. So I'm just like, why did they bring it up at all? I really don't know. Like, it just seems kind of strange they have that plot there, which seems kind of interesting, but they don't really go anywhere with it. So this movie, this movie actually has a lot, a lot, you know, like, well, actually not really a lot going on, but it does have, you know, like I said, the characters are pretty nice, the clay animation, although, like I said, it's a little creepy with the faces, it still looks very good, you know, for, for being a 2000s film, it looks pretty good. Of course, that even then, they were kind of getting better with that stuff, because, you know, because they did make clay animation, I think, before, like, CGI was a thing, you know, with computers and stuff, but. You can definitely tell when it's CGI and clay because clay looks different in CGI, but but I don't know. Um, I I just I just think it's kind of you know strange though. Like it's strange, you know. Like I said, like like how they like even came up with clay animation in the first place. But I mean, I do like the clay animation. It looks very nice, but. I I, I, I kind of like the I I kind of like the you know, CGI a little bit better, but it still looks pretty good. It looks pretty good, you know. I'll give the artist that. Um, but I don't know if there's really anything else really for me to say. Like I said, there's not really a lot to this film. I don't feel like it's kind of like I said, it's very safe. It's very a very safe film, and there's just not really a lot to really talk about with this film. Um. But I'm going to go ahead and probably just give this a score because I don't really have much else to really say. So, um, I'm going to give this a score. This one is getting a good and it's getting a 76 point system. Yes, we finally got to it. We finally got to a good DreamWorks movie. The first two movies were meh. I'm not really sure exactly, I'm not sure what the, um, well, I'm not really sure, you know, what I would grade, I mean, a Road to Eldor, because I've not seen that movie yet, but... But the fact that we finally got to a good is, uh, you know, interesting, you know? This is a movie that I think is, it's alright, like, it, it's alright, like... I actually was thinking about giving this a meh, but then I'm like, you know, there's not really that many problems with it, but there's not really a lot really to go back to, I feel like, either, but... It's a movie I probably wouldn't mind watching again, you know, it's it's an okay film, but I don't think it's one of DreamWorks' best movies ever. That's kind of how a lot of these earlier films are, they just don't hold up as well, you know, they don't hold up as well as they, you know, the others, but... But, you know, it's still, it's still interesting, you know, like I said, we got, um... It's still interesting, you know, they, they try to do something different with the animation, and it actually works, you know, despite, like I said, the, the animation looking a bit creepy at times with the faces. But there's really not, like I said, there's not a lot to say about this movie I can think of. It just, it, like I said, it just plays it simple, you know. I mean, there's not really much to it, you know. But, but I mean, I mean, the villains, the villains are not bad, but they're not really good either. Like, I don't really care for them. I think Ants had a better, better villain, you know. I think it had a better villain than, you know, um, than this movie. But I think this villain is better than the, than the Prince of Egypt. Just because they actually, they actually show the villains being bad, you know. Like, the, the, um, the gal, which I'm not sure if she's a, the wife of this guy or not, I'm not sure. I think she probably is, but... She treats her, her husband, you know, like crap, you know, calling him idiot and stuff, and her husband, like, oh, he's kind of a, well, he's not really dim but he, I don't know, he, I guess he doesn't, they don't really show him as a really, really big threat, like, he just seems like he's just a do, do whatever, like, she says, a guy or something like that, but I don't feel like the problem is with, like, Road, I mean, the Road, I mean, like, Prince of Egypt is, like, they had, they had a villain in the movie, but I felt like they, they, 
I feel like they, they kind of showed him more as someone who, you know, again, was confused, you know, like, in all that. Like, they made him kind of more of a confused guy, you know, that kind of, you know, just believed in something different because that's how he was raised rather than actually showing him doing something, you know, bad for his own ways instead of, you know, just... I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I'm, let's just say I don't think the villain did, in the, the last movie deserved to have his son killed and all that. But but I, I think, you know, again, it's 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 a lot better of a movie. But even then, like, I still don't think I'd go back to this movie as much. But I definitely think it's better than the other two. It's definitely better than the other two. But but I will miss the, um, you know, the... I, I do think... Well, not really missed, but I do think the the animation in um the Prince of Egypt looks better because it's you know 2D animated. But like I said, I'm glad they're at least trying something new here too, you know. But I don't know. We'll just have to see how the next movie of, for, for this for DreamWorks is. Um, I don't really have much else to really say. Um, so um, I might go ahead and just let this go. This video is actually kind of short, but I just don't have a lot to say. So. I'm going to go ahead and let things go from here, and I'll see you guys all next time. Anywho, bye-bye.